Alright guys, as you know, um, or maybe you don't know, um, we released our film Dark Horse Mississippi today. Um, that's available at darkhorsems.vhx.tv and I'll put that link like in the description or caption or whatever it's called um, just in case you guys want to check it out. But I had a few words now that the film is released. I had a few things that I wanted to say. So um, I wrote it. So let me just go ahead and start. <sighs> I often ask myself why it is that I took on this particular project and also why it was that I felt so obligated to do it. I am an artist and I have a respect for those who go above and beyond to do what they love. Ariel says we have a respect for artists because we know art is hard and that's true. Everything about art is hard. You have to be vulnerable as an artist. You are bearing your all and when we bear things that are most private to us, it hurts us when we're not appreciated. The Dark Horse Mississippi Project was created in order to open doors. We appreciate those who bear their bodies of work. I'm not originally from Mississippi, but honestly, I was tired. Tired of hearing that these people, um, you know, my friends, my relatives, my teachers, are being practically shunned because of where they come from. Nothing in the media about Mississippi is ever good. So it's easy to judge the state as a whole. But anyone who has ever been judged before having a chance to even show who they truly are knows just how irritating that can be. I'm just one person and so is Ariel and so is Jonathan. But we were and still are determined to do our part. We were offered things regarding this project that were taken away from us at the blink of an eye. But honestly, it's okay because the film is finished. Thank you to those who have bought the film today, made generous donations, or just had any kind of words. Let's try to shift the convo furthermore whenever anyone has anything negative to say about Mississippi or just wherever you may come from personally. Don't let someone say you can't do something, no matter how difficult it may be. There's a dark horse everywhere and you can't underestimate them. Whether you're from New York or Montana or Mississippi or California, it does not matter. Prove them wrong. So, once again, thank you to anybody who has supported us, not even just today, but the whole way through. Um, your support is really what kept us going. We knew that we really wanted this for the state as a whole, not just ourselves. So it was something that we couldn't really just give up on. And it was something that we couldn't really just turn our backs on. Um, so we just ask that you guys do your part of just sharing the film with people because we did put a lot of work into it. Um, we didn't have that much money to film it, but we were able to road trip across an entire state and film about eight or nine different artists' stories. Um, Actually, it's more than that because there's a lot more people included in the film than um, initially intended, but it's great. It just made the film even better. So, um, like I said, we didn't have a whole lot of money, but we made it work, and I'm personally very happy and pleased with the project as a whole, and I'm just happy and excited to see um, what, you know, what happens in the future. We are interested in casting for more um, projects. We're going to be uh, announcing that later in the year, maybe summer, fall, um, via our Twitter account, which is at sign Dark Horse Mississippi, and also our website, our Tumblr page, but it's our website, it's darkhorsedocu.com. So if you have any questions, concern, or just feedback about the film, um, feel free to message me and Ariel at uh, darkhorsemsfilm at gmail.com once again thanks thanks you guys um, also like I said I just really really want to stress that no matter how difficult things may get there's always a way um, you just have to have faith no matter what don't ever lose your faith and always go back to the drawing board don't quit go back to the drawing board 
All right, good night, guys. Bye. Hey guys, it's me again. I didn't know you'd be here. No, I'm just playing. But um, I had the idea of incorporating the trailer into this, just in case you haven't seen it yet. Um, so here it is, my trailer for Dark Horse Mississippi. Um, by the way, um, never mind. Bye. What type of stereotypes have you all heard? Um, other people have to say about Mississippi. About Mississippi? Yeah. They're Every, stupid. Everybody's fat. They're, they're fat. fat. She was, uh, there's a... Stupid. Uh, un <laughs> uneducated. Fat. <laughs> Lack substance or something. Yeah. The parts of Mississippi that show y'all show y'all on TV, they gonna find the most desolate part. They gonna go to Chuck and Lucka County with a population of 40. I don't even know what that is. There's been a hand over Mississippi's mouth for way too long. And we've just been stereotyped. Superhero in the flesh. Even at my worst, I'm the best for the finish I stress. What would you say is me to check? Could have bought my way to him, but I'm blowing it on my neck. Instead, what you expect when you ain't had shit? Name paying half of what you ask it. Couldn't even see the pussy, even if it's casting. Now the hoes are down for taking pictures because you're flashing. You can't even imagine. Maybe kill Kardashian. Like some days I wake up, but I don't even want to get out of bed. I don't want to sleep. But I mean, that's just part of, you know, part of life. I have to get over it if I want to fight for what I want. Everything I do is from my mom. My joys are because of my mom. My successes are because of my mom. I live for my mom. I live through my mom. It's so much untapped talent. It makes it fun to me that I'm not from Atlanta or Harlem or Texas. We're from somewhere new. So let's bring some new. There's so many people from Mississippi who are like, oh, I'm going to go to LA. I'm going to go to New York. You know, I'm going to be better. You can survive here. I mean, I love it. Yeah. Just a rock in the cooler. Not a day off, but I'm still Ferris Bueller. Winners never lose, so how dare you confuse us? They quote what I spit like Confucius.